In this part of the video, I want to teach you an interesting halacha, an interesting Jewish law. Well, we've been talking about the Beit HaMikdash and Harabayit and Yerushalayim, and it's usually we're very happy when we see these places because they're so special to us and they're such a, a special place, especially in our heart, right? Because our heart, that's where we start. We feel things, not really, but that's what we say. We say we feel them in our heart. And when Yerushalayim was destroyed, 2,000 years ago and the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed and the Jews were thrown out, we were very sad. It really hurt our feelings. And we started to have three weeks every summer where we were, we would have, we would, we would not have weddings and we wouldn't have things that made us really happy um, to make sure that we felt sad about losing the Beit HaMikdash. And then we wouldn't eat on the 17th of Tammuz. We wouldn't eat and we wouldn't eat on Tisha B'Av. It's a fast day and it's a really, really sad day. We sit down on the ground to show how sad we are on, on Tisha B'Av because Yerushalayim, when it was destroyed, it was very, very sad. And we weren't able to go too, like we've been pointing out, we weren't able to go to Harabayit and there's no Beit HaMikdash. And there's a special halacha that I want to teach you now, that if you haven't seen the Beit HaMikdash, like in the place of the Beit HaMikdash, right? We can't see the Beit HaMikdash because it was destroyed. But if we, if you haven't seen the place where the Beit HaMikdash used to be, where that gold dome is now, if you haven't seen the mountain, Harabayit, like we've been talking about, and you haven't seen it for 30 days, you have to tear your shirt over your heart to show how sad you are over the fact that we don't have a Beit HaMikdash. And that's a real halacha. So a lot of times when you come to Israel, you'll see people that haven't been to Israel in a long time that they haven't seen the, the, where the Beit HaMikdash used to be and they tear their shirt. And I, even though I only live 20 minutes away from where the Beit HaMikdash used to be, because of Corona, we don't leave our houses that much, I haven't seen it in a long time. So now I, I tore my shirt a little and now I'm gonna tear it the rest of the way. It's okay to do this. It's hard to do holding the camera, but I'm gonna put the camera down for one second. Just hold on. And I'll lean over and you can see, I'm gonna tear my shirt. And now my shirt is torn because I see the place where the Beit HaMikdash used to be. I'll zoom in, I'll try to zoom in, nope. Okay, well, that's where it's, so now we tear our shirt and now I'm a little sad because I haven't seen the Beit HaMikdash in so, the place of the Beit HaMikdash in so long. We hope it'll be rebuilt. Okay, now is when you have to really listen because now I'm gonna start telling you things that you could win a raffle ticket with, okay? So we're gonna look around the whole city. Here's all of Yerushalayim, okay? You can see there's hotels. Let me show you a famous, famous hotel. This hotel is called the King David Hotel. Guess what it's named after? David and Melech Yisrael. That's right, that's what it's named after, King David. Okay, it's the King David Hotel. It's a very famous and very fancy hotel. Okay, and then if we look all through Yerushalayim, now here's what we're gonna discuss for our raffle ticket this, in just this part of the video. Because soon there's going to be another part of the video, okay? Uh, so here, let's look, okay? Now, first of all, when you daven towards Yerushalayim, you might have remembered we had a question before, you're davening towards this city. But let's say you're already in the city. If you're already in the city, where do you daven towards? So if you're already in Yerushalayim, like I am now, you daven towards this mountain, towards Harabayit. This is Harabite. This is the mountain that you dive in towards, towards where the Beit HaMikdash used to be and where one day it will be again when Mashiach comes. Either, here's the crazy thing, you ready? A Beit HaMikdash is going to drop out of the sky and land right there, or we're all going to come and work and build the Beit HaMikdash. Now here's the halacha I'm going to teach you that I'm going to ask you a question on. So get ready, you ready? who are the only people that are not allowed to help with building the Beit HaMikdash? Now you'll say, hmm, that's a good question, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, you ready? It's you. 
What? You'll say, what do you mean? What's wrong with me? Children are not allowed to help build the Beit HaMikdash. You can be like, what's wrong with kids? We could help build. We build Legos and everything. That's true. But the reason why kids can't build the Beit HaMikdash is because you have to learn Torah in class. You have to be in school. You don't get to miss school for building the Beit HaMikdash. So I'm going to ask you a question soon in about five seconds, and I hope you know it. Okay, bye-bye.